Helen. Simon, thank you very much. Some parts are now up to 25 days with rain here in the UK. The rivers are not responding or they're responding and they're not subsiding quite so quickly. And with more unsettled weather come, there is potentially more woes to come with that rain. As I say, there are a handful of flood warnings still out. Now, today's rain for most is clearing, but we are watching for rain down towards the south. But even as it does so, this low pressure then moves in for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and around it, we'll see bands of showers passing across the UK, so more rain. It might, however, be, though, at this stage, by the time we get to the early part of next week, we're afforded one, possibly two days of dry weather. And it's certainly an improving picture out there. This is Brecon in Powys taken very recently. The sun is coming out across many areas. This is the rain that we had to start with dragging its heels in Scotland and then potentially coming back in across the southeast of England. So we will keep an eye on that because that could bring another five to ten millimetres of rain. But for most, very few showers this afternoon. Light winds, sunshine, I think it'll start to feel quite pleasant out there. But the nights now longer than the days mean that under the starry skies overnight, we are in for some quite chilly weather. And given we've had so much rain, there'll be some mist and some fog forming as well, I think, as well as those showers gathering out towards the west. But we could have a frost tonight across the glens of Scotland, and it'll certainly be a chilly wake up for most of us tomorrow morning. And as I say, there could be a little bit of mist and fog around, but the big story for tomorrow is the approach of this area of low pressure, tightly packed isobars, windier weather picking up through the day. So I think it'll feel cooler, even if you do escape a lot of the showers. And eastern areas probably won't see that many, but you can see they're meandering around this area of low pressure. And with low pressure close by, they will be torrential, some of them with hail and thunder and lightning, most certainly. So yes, it will feel a bit cooler and it does look quite a turbulent day. And it doesn't stop there. That continues through Thursday night and Friday. Just a subtle change, actually, Friday into the weekend. We pick up a northerly wind across the northern half of the country, so that will help to lower temperatures as well. They may get a little bit below average, but the main story is the fact that we've got more torrential downpours meandering around our area of low pressures. The winds ease as well. They'll become the slow moving feature. So yes, if you do see some sunshine, of course that's good news and not everywhere we'll see the showers all the time, but it still looks a very unsettled picture and it looks as if we'll have to wait until the beginning of next week, Simon, to see anything drier. Helen.